everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I am coming at you with a writing hack. This one can help anyone, but it's a particularly good hack for my fellow pantsers and planters who are allergic to outlining, but you have to do some planning for your novel. This is a trick I've used on multiple books, particularly in dealing with my agent and editors, kind of basically being able to top line develop out an idea without getting psyched out by all of the broader details that come in outlining. Basically, something to do when you are trying to translate an idea to a whole ass book slash you're really stuck on a book project and this is gonna hurt and you're not going to want to do it but the hack is to write a book synopsis. I know none of us like book synopses. I do have a whole video on how to write a book synopsis which I will of course link to down below as well as a really handy guide to it that Susan Dennard created. Book synopses are a necessary evil, but what's good about learning to write a book synopsis and making yourself write a book synopsis is it forces you to look at your overall story and book from a top line level as relates to your core character and plot progression. It really allows you to see your A plot with some B plot and how it's actually moving and developing over the structure of the story and basically whether you have enough plot, conflict, things going on. It can also tell you when you have too much going on because if you're trying to write a one to two page synopsis and you find yourself writing four or five pages, First of all, you're probably synopsising wrong. You're probably including all of your subplots and a lot of internal stuff. Synopses are supposed to be pretty top line. But writing one can tell you if you have too much going on or if you don't have enough going on. And very often, if you are encountering issues getting started on something, it's probably the don't have enough going on issue. And what I have done in forcing myself to write a synopsis, the first few paragraphs are always pretty easy because we have an idea. We have a setup. We usually know our character at this point as well. And then it's the trick of being like, and then what? And you have to come up with the and then what? So by making yourself go and then and come up with challenges that could happen in the story to push it forward to basically write a complete synopsis, you can make your brain kind of fire on big picture ideas to flesh that out. Writing the synopsis makes you think about what are the most important things that someone needs to know about this project. Imagine writing that synopsis for an agent or an editor and if you're doing a proposal, you're going to have to do it for an editor. What are those big things that they would need to know to be interested in the story, to understand the story, and in the case of agents and editors, to want to buy the story? You're basically convincing them that you have a sound story structure with an interesting character and things that actually happen. I can tell you also that I can usually spot story structure and logic issues from a person's synopsis. So another good exercise of making yourself write a synopsis for your story is to give it to another person. Ask them if they're confused, ask them if they spot any issues. So essentially the hack is making yourself write your book synopsis before you start a project so that from a bird's eye view you're able to spot potential issues but also make yourself come up with some overarching plot points in order to fill out and complete the synopsis. What I also really like about this hack is when you make yourself do this during the story development phase before you start writing, even if you don't end up finishing that synopsis or ultimately deciding to write that project, that synopsis exists forever. I have definitely found myself going back into my files and picking up a synopsis that I either started or completed years ago that I had really forgotten the details about. And then it's like I've handed myself a blueprint for a story that I can just springboard off of later. So that is my writing hack for when you are stuck on a story idea and you're not sure where to go or what to do, I find that it's just a really helpful kind of tool for kicking myself in the pants on any given story. And it tells me whether I have enough to write a whole book. 
Let me know down below in the comments any questions you have about writing synopses and this writing hack. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I will make more writing hacks, which are short, helpful writing tips for very specific problems. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I post new videos two to three times a week. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and happy writing.